What's going on, chess lover? This is um, Maurice Bishop, and today I want to show you an actual live game of um, Daniel um, Camber. Let me say his name, y'all. I'm gonna go back to here. Uh, his name is uh, Daniel Campora. Um, William James Labardi play as white, and Daniel um, Hugo Campora play as black. Um, this is an actual game, like they actually or Daniel. Kambora actually plays the black line, so I wanted to show y'all that. Um, I thought it was um pretty interesting and everything, so um I will recommend y'all. And I actually put the link down below in the description box of this game, so y'all can actually um, check it out. Um, but that's what I'm pretty much doing now. I'm kind of going back to all the other games that you know this type of line is played in an actual game, and this was actually um uh, back in 1994, so um it's it's been played though, but you don't really see it too much. So uh, without further ado, we're going to actually get started, though. Uh, Williams, James Labardi play as white. Um, Kabora play as black. All right. So it starts off at E4, E5, Knight F3, D6, D4, Knight F6, Knight C3, and Knight B to D7. Now, y'all know when I play this, um, the, um, the line and everything, I never go Knight F6. Um, I don't like these lines, uh, D captures and queen captures. I don't like these lines at all. I hate it, which is why uh, when I go E5, I go knight B to D7 first. That's just me. Um, but yeah, I, I hate those um, those lines. But um, knight C3, right? Then knight B to D7, bishop C4, bishop E7. Um, he castles and he castles. And this is crazy, y'all. Like, in this, in this line and stuff, um, even though it's a black lion, in this one, he's not playing a risky, um, black lion or the aggressive black lion. He's playing the, you know, the conservative, um, black lion. So if y'all like, you know, real conservative, you know, here's an idea. I mean, like I said, I mean, um, Kompora, he's a grandmaster. So, I mean, hey, <laughs> y'all can all check him out and stuff. All right. But rookie one. Um, C6 is played A4, B6, B3, Bishop B7, um, Bishop A3, uh, A6 is played. It's almost resemble like a hippopotamus opening, almost, except for like these pawns is not moved, but it, it's crazy. Uh, but the whole point of it is um, he's on, uh, he's generating his structure. Um, and it's kind of, and his defense is pretty crazy because it's hard for a knight to get to any square. The knight can't get the b5, can't get the d5. Um, he got to be careful on uh, which pawn because if he goes pawn d5, he got c5. The next maybe b5 once he goes rook b8. It's just crazy though. So I, I, I like the idea and everything. It's just um pretty great, especially um when white often uh, attacks the queen side, whereas in this position, it's very hard to attack um, black's queen side. So I love the structure uh, of black, you know? Uh, so bishop f1 is played, uh, rookie eight, uh, queen d3, um, b5 is played, my bad, y'all. Um, b5 is played. Now look at this, like, obviously you don't want to capture the pawn because eight can capture it, and now you got the rook open foul on the eight foul, and it's gonna look nasty, you know? Giving black an advantage, so I mean this looks really good. Uh, Bishop b2, b4. Look at this, y'all. B4 is played. Uh, knight c to b1. Uh, e captures d4. Um, and normally this is what you do in a black lion. You know, if you have to uh, take on e captures d4, you got to, especially if there's an advantage of off, and you're about to see what c5. This is the move c5. Um, he goes back to bishop b2, knight catches e4, and y'all probably looking like, okay, he's just going to give up the uh, exchange or whatever. Like, what's really going on? No, guys. I know y'all probably thinking of um, if rook captures um, e4, right? And then if bishop captures, captures. No, guys, you got this move, uh, bishop f6. <laughs> he's hitting the, um, the dark square bishop. And yes, the bishop can take, but you still run into this problem with queen captures on a1. And yes, you can block it with knight e5 and everything, but I mean, it's you still get this. Um, obviously not with the the rook, but you're gonna capture with the knight. Uh, 
y'all. But yeah, it's just <laughs> it's it's nasty, y'all. But yeah, th- so these are the type of stuff you'll run into. Um or what would have happened if you would have just took on uh Rook catches e4. So <laughs> it's not that easy. Alright, so after knight catches e4, uh knight b2, this is what was played, and then d5. Because now um white can take with the knight or whatever, but now that he puts d5. You know, it's a little uh, different now. So rook a d1, uh, f5 is played, really securing this um this knight on e4. And you know the crazy part about this, y'all? It's like black is playing the black line, but he's playing a conservative black line. But then it seems like in the middle game, he almost like switched it up with the Dutch um, formation too. You know, which is um pretty crazy. And it's just, oh man, like this is beautiful. Like this is so beautiful, man. I just love this formation. And it's like... White is so cramped, like in this position. It's it, it's crazy, y'all. Uh, this is definitely um y'all know me. I always play the aggressive black line with the a six and g five. But um I've met. I'm gonna actually look into it and like um probably start playing something like this. This is something that I'm kind of interested in playing. So uh, I'm I'm definitely thinking about it. Um, C4 is played. Um, the reason why C4 is played, because as y'all can see, this knight on E4 is like so strong. So why you gotta try to like break up this um pawn chain, um pretty much. Um, but D4 is played. D4 is definitely played. Now I was looking at some other stuff. Like okay, what if knight does capture Z4? In my mind, I'm thinking okay, maybe F captures Z4. But then I saw this move. Rook catches E4. You know, and I was like, could he have played this? I was just thinking if you could play this. In other words, if F catches E4, uh, then uh, Queen catches D7, Queen catches, Rook catches D7, and um, obviously um, the the engine actually recommend Bishop D5. Um, I I'm kind of not really sure why or whatever. I'm not really sure why, but um. Uh, actually, I do know why. The whole point of going bishop d5 because if rook captures, uh, it gets him off his um d7 post, and then it, um e captures f3 and g captures f3, and then rook d8, which is the whole point. You just wanted to get this rook off of uh, this file. Uh, so yeah, I was just looking at it because y'all know me, man. I'm like you know I like to you know be playing kind of crazy. I was looking at this rook h5. Um if rook d2, maybe bishop c4 check, you know, maybe try to get some type of play. And then maybe bishop f seven, you know. But then after rook catches c2 and bishop catches d8, rook catches b2 and then um bishop f7. Um I don't know. It seems like white may have some chance. Uh it's it's it's, it's unclear to me it's unclear. Uh, I can I can automatically say black has an advantage, but in this position, I feel like maybe white. I, I mean, I don't know, man. It's like white has a disadvantage because of the double pawns, um, and then eventually, you know, black is going to have this pass pawn on the C file, uh, moving down once he be able to uh, capture this pawn. So, um, if this black square bishop can get out the way, then it'll probably be good. But it seems like it it could be a draw. That's what it seems like. But um but yeah, this knight catches e4 seems like the best move. Um you know, it, it seemed like the uh, best move to me. Uh and like I said, and honestly, it was easy for me to see a shot like this because I hate cramped positions and I'm kind of like have that mindset like if I'm in a like my mindset is if I'm in a cramped position, I'm gonna sack either way. And the engine actually agree with me, but but this is just how I am personally. Well, no matter what position it is, it it could be a losing position if I'm really that cramp or whatever. And I'll think stuff over, but I'll I'll find some shots and I'll start sacking pieces just to get some type of advantage or you know get some type of play. That's just the type of person I am. But the computer did agree with me with knight catches e4. So um, but that's but that wasn't played though. So d4 was played. Then knight catches d4. Um, c catches d4. Uh, and, and and understand and I understand that um because white is so cramped, I, I just felt like knight to d4 for this one, I don't think it was 
like I said, I think he if he was going to do something like that, he should have did it when he had the chance uh, with Night Catcher Z4 or, you know, uh, before Z4. Um, when he had a chance, he should have just did Catcher Z4, but that didn't happen. So after C4, D4, and you don't have it no more. So you go Night Catcher D4, Queen Catcher D4. And I see that you're trying to add some play uh, with this. Um, Compora played Knight F6, you know, trying to change the Queens down. But um, I was kind of confused because um, I didn't understand why he didn't go Bishop F6. And I've been trying to find that out, like, why he ain't go Bishop F6. And I, and I don't know why. So after bishop f6, uh, if queen d3, um, now this is what the engine said. The engine says the knight captures f2. Um, the whole point because he's um, he's hitting the queen. Um, if the king does take, um, if the king captures on f2, uh, queen b6. So this is um, the reason why. Um, and then if he comes here, queen c7 check, king f2. Uh, it almost looked like the engine saying this would be like a perpetual. That's what it seems like it's coming down to. Um, yeah, but if you go back to king g3, then yeah, he's just going to take the bishop. Or he'll win the piece back, but it's just getting the king disposed. So, so yeah, that was the thing, but... But that's not what I was looking at, though. This is what I was looking at, y'all. Um, trying to take y'all to what I was like thinking of uh, with this bishop f six. This is this is what I was thinking of after queen d three. I was I was wondering why not just bishop catches b two either way, and I, I'm just really confused by it. You know, you win the pretty much win the piece, and then if knight captures. I have bishop captures here. Oh, queen captures d7. That's why. That is why. Okay, guys, that is why. I got it. All right, so now we see that. All right. All right, so now so now we see. All right, y'all. So queen d4. So that's probably so that's why he didn't go bishop f6. Because he you know this uh, knight will could potentially be on a target or a pin. So that's why he goes knight f6. I get it. All right. So queen e5 is played. Bishop c5 is played, which I like it. And bishop captures f2. Uh, but queen captures f5 is played. And then queen c8. Um, even though in this position, he did have the bishop captures f2. He could have just did that automatically. Uh, after king h1, bishop catches e1, and knight catches e4, queen catches d1. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, black black has an advantage. Um, black will win this. Um, even if you decide to go here, queen catches f6. As you see, he's connected, so he's starting to meet. Um, but you just block it with bishop c3, and this is really nothing uh, white can do. Because even if he goes check and go king h8, he can take, he can take. Queen f6, king d8, queen g5, king f, uh, f5, king f7, king e7, and then, you know, black is pretty much uh, running away. He escaped, and uh, black will win, pretty much. So, um, oh, my bad, y'all. So, after queen e5, uh, bishop c5, queen catches f5, queen c8, queen catches c8, and um, bishop catches f2 first. After king h1, rook a catcher c8, rook e2, and then uh, rook c5. As you can see, uh, with rook c5, he's going for the uh, rook h5 to go over, um, which is why he goes g4. But then after the this move g4, knight g3 checkmate, y'all. Uh, this is all. Uh, <laughs> this is a crazy checkmate, if you ask me, man. This is um. I like this, y'all. I mean, obviously, this is a field or line, as they call it, the uh, um, field or line. Um, but of course, we know it as the black line. But obviously, I didn't see no h six or g five. But this is more of a conservative, the field or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I thought this was interesting. I thought I just needed to share this to y'all, so y'all could definitely check it out. Uh, I'm gonna definitely have the uh, the game in the description box. It's a very uh, decent game. 
All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, please share, please comment. Uh, let me know what y'all think. And also, y'all, don't forget to subscribe. All right, y'all. Peace.